All right, so what I want to talk about today is this challenge that I'm having next week, seven days from today, okay? It's really going to be great. It's free. It's three days, three-day challenge, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And if you haven't signed up for it yet, sign up for it. And if you have signed up for it, I'll let you know a little bit about what's going to be going on, okay? Um, the way you could sign up for it is right on my homepage, thetidytutor.com. You can click there. And you'll see it on the top, okay? So this is for anybody that wants to participate and there's a prize involved. Every There's going to be like a, a drawing and you get as many um as many entries as you want so um signing up gets you an entry um and what you win is if you are not a tiny tutor student then you can have you can get you have the possibility of winning a scholarship in tiny tutor university and if you are a tiny tutor student then you get one hour cons consult with me so that's and so there's more than one way to get entries. Another entry is if you share it, but please don't share it with people that don't care about it because we don't want to spam anybody. But if you're in any groups and you're allowed to share it there, share it there. If you can do it on your homepage and all you have to do is just tag me and then I'll know that it's been shared and each time you'll get another entry. All right. And then there's a couple other ways that you will get an entry and I'll talk about that later. But here's what we're going to be doing. All right. We're going to be just taking care of those spaces. It's not like a, a big decluttering job. We're not doing that. I was thinking about this time of COVID and how difficult it's been on everybody. And I wanted to think of something that I could do that could be a, a really quick fix that could mean a real lot. And I thought about those hot spots in the house, you know, those areas that are always accumulating clutter. It's not like a cluttered room or a cluttered space. It's a space that it's cleaned off to now and then it's cluttered again. It's cleaned off now and then it's cluttered again. Like maybe um, an end table, an area of your kitchen, an island, a kitchen island, a coffee table. Like, you know, it's something that you may clean up but then before you know it, there's banana peels on it, um, keys, your purse, maybe a wallet, some garbage, a bag that you brought in from the grocery store or from the convenience store or something. And some, some of the things are still even left in that bag. It, it's like stuff that is partially really important, like your keys or your wallet, and partially completely unimportant, like garbage or um, you know, empty containers, which I guess is garbage too, or something that you've been eating or a paper that you just happen to bring in the house. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to have a plan for you, right? To tackle those areas, not only by de-junking them, but also by creating a space in that area that it'll work from you, for you from now on. Because guess what? These th things, they live there, right? So we have to figure out, well, how are we going to make this work for us? And that's what we're going to do. It's going to be very productive, very fun, and really releasing. All right? So sign up. Now, before I, I go away, if anybody has a question about anything, I'll answer it. And also, I'll just share one thing. The goes, it goes where it goes habit. Okay? It goes where it goes is so, so important. What that means is that you don't let go of it unless it, it's going where it belongs. It goes where it goes. Where does this go? Don't just, we, we have such a habit of randomly leaving things. And with that, remember, I'll do it later. No, no more do it later. But we have that in the back of our head. I'll do it later. I'll put this here. I'll put this here. Just unconsciously, we, we spend so much time searching for things. We spend so much time putting away things that if we only could practice this habit of it goes where it goes. But there's more to it than that, right? Because part of what is with the it goes where it goes is we have to have a place for those things. I'll tell you a story, which I'll probably tell again, and I know I've told it before. Years and years ago, I was watching Lassie, and this is when I was still uh, still a slob, right? Still, I had, had not found um, Sidetracked Home Executives, which turned me on to who I am today. I was still, but you know, I wasn't that bad at this point. You know, I think you know that if you are who I am, we go through ebbs and flows of things that sometimes it's not so bad, and other times it's like, what the hell, right? So anyway, I'm watching Lassie, the kids are really little. I think Mikey was maybe eight months old, and that would mean that it was it was one, three, and five years old. And I'm watching Lassie, and Timmy 
says to mother, his mother, he says, Mommy, where are the pens or the crayons? And she said, why, Timmy? Remember who his mother was? She was June. Wasn't her name June in Lost in Space? Remember that? That's who she was. I forget her real name, but she was an old-time actress, beautiful woman. Anyway, she said, Timmy, where do the pens go? I don't remember if it was pens or crayons, so let's just pretend it was pens. Where do the pens go? And he went, oh, yeah, Mom. And you, you might as well have, like, dropped a house on me. I was like, holy crow. Where do, the, where do the pens go? And right at that moment, I there was, I lived in an apartment that had, a you know, it was a small kitchen, but I didn't have a lot of stuff, probably why I'm saying that at this point, there wasn't a big mess at that time. Um, and I opened up a kitchen cabinet that had very little in it. I display, I took out the stuff that I put somewhere else and I made that kitchen cabinet, which was high level for my kids so they could get it without me having to you know, get it for them. I put paper there. Remember, this is way before computers. This had to be 80, 84, I think. So I put paper there, um, crayons, markers, notebooks, everything that I had that had to do with writing, drawing, stationery, envelopes went there, um, uh, stamps went there, right? I felt like who the hell I was. And all I did was I determined a spot for something. It goes where it goes. Although I didn't know that it went where it went back then. Um, it took me quite a while to straighten out a lot of things, but that was one thing that was incredibly helpful to me. That whole little scene with Timmy and his mother in Lassie. So that's part of what we're gonna do when we do our three day challenge. We're gonna find places for things. Not only the places for things that are going to belong in that area, which I'm going to help you with, because there's going to be some things that you say, oh, no, that's not going to stay here. That, that doesn't belong here. We'll discuss it. All right. But we'll also find places for things that we're not sure where it should go. Like, well, it's, it's been like kind of like I've been moving this thing around forever kind of thing. You know, I know you've got those things. So that's what we're going to do. It's going to be a lot of fun. Like I said. All right. So um, thank you for the little hearts and the and the thumbs up things or the likes. That's so fun to see going up there. It's, it's almost like little prayers to heaven or thank you, Kathy, or something. But thank you. I appreciate it. So I do have I do not have a, a filter on. It kind of looks like I do, but I don't. So I don't know if Facebook does that on its own or if the lighting's just really good right now. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see. Anybody have any questions or comments? Um I don't see any. So sign up. And, you know, for anybody here that doesn't think, you know, is thinking, well, you know, I joined Tidy Tutor University. I, I want, you know, an hour consult. What's that going to get me? It's really such a valuable thing. It really, really is. I've saved people thousands of dollars on a phone call just because they didn't know what to do with all this stuff that they had in three separate storage units and their family had things in there and all of that. And just with a simple phone call, one hour, giving a little chat, making a little plan, bada boom, bada bing, in another month or two, all of that was gone. And it was an easy fix. Sometimes you just need somebody to talk to who can see things in a different light. So there you go. All right. So that's that. I look forward to seeing you on the challenge next week. And today, practice the it goes where it goes thing. Don't let it leave your hand unless it goes where it goes. And also, if you could find a place for something that you couldn't before, even if you can't find a place for that something, put it in a box or something like that so that you know you've got a plan for that thing sometime. It's not going to be something that's roaming the house all over the place. It'll be that something that you have in a box, in a crate, in a basket that you say, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what to do with this. At least it's all together. It's all together in a, I don't know what to do with this thing. It goes where it goes, right? It goes where you don't know what to do with it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take off now. Thanks a lot for being with me and I'll see you tomorrow because I try really hard to do one a day, except for Sunday. I do miss one or two days, but not in a week. I might miss one day in a week, but um, I'm really pretty faithful to this one time a day. I just don't nail down the time yet. So anyway, this was fun. If anybody is on Clubhouse, let me know. Put it in here. And if you don't know what Clubhouse is, maybe I'll do another uh, chat on what Clubhouse is and to ask you guys to like, figure out how to get on there. You need to have an iPhone and it needs to be invite only. 
Um, I have six invites. So if anybody wants one, let me know, but you've got to use the invite because you don't get them back. It's really precious. All right, so I'll go now. Maybe tomorrow we'll talk about Clubhouse, okay? Bye.